All right, so in this video, we're going to discuss quadric surfaces, more specifically ellipsoids. So ellipsoids are, um, traces are ellipses, and because it's in 3D, we call it an ellipsoid. Here's the standard form. So you have x minus x naught squared over some a square, same thing for y, terms are squared, and then same thing for z. And this is equal to one, so keep that in mind. And also you have some constants right here, a, b, and c, they're all squared. Now, how do we identify that this quadric surface is an ellipse? So here are some ways you can determine. Note that all of these terms are positive and it's equal to one. So that's one way to tell this ellipsoid will have a center at x naught comma y naught comma z naught. So that will be the center of your ellipsoid. Now, if you want to take a look at the picture of how the general shape will look like, we're going to suppose the following. We're going to suppose that C is greater than B and B is greater than A, so that the ellipsoid is elongated along the z-axis since this is greater. So here's how it's going to look like, just the basic shape, and then we can shift it. So let's suppose this is our x, y, z plane, just like this. This is your x, this is your y, this is your z. And then we will draw the negative x in this direction, negative z in this direction, and negative y in this direction. Now, since we're assuming a is smallest, so let's suppose this is a distance from the origin, and then this is negative a distance from the origin along the x-axis. So b is a little bit greater than a, so let's suppose in the y direction, we go further this way, b units from the center, and here we go, negative b units. And for z, since c is the greatest of all, so we'll make it c up here and negative c down here. And you're just creating your ellipsis. So in the xy plane, so that's the floor, we have this particular shape. So connecting these points, something like this. So that's an ellipse in x, y plane. Now in the y, z plane, so connecting the points on the y, z. So here's a point and here's, and here's another one. Here's another one. So that's the ellipse in y, z plane. Now in the x, z plane, we will get something like this. So connecting x uh, coordinates and the z coordinates. So you will have something that looks like this. So there you have it. This is what we call an ellipsoid. Now, let me give you a specific example so that you are comfortable working with this particular surface. So uh, this is an ellipsoid because all terms are positive right here, and it's equal to a constant. And we're going to make that constant one so that it is in standard form. I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by that constant, which is nine. So we have the following equation, x squared plus y squared over nine plus z squared over nine equals to one. Now that's in standard form. So let's call it SF or standard form. Now, once it is in the standard form, then you know how to draw your ellipses. Now I'm gonna rewrite these nines as um, three squared. So you know how far to travel from the center along the y-axis and z-axis. So the center for this particular ellipse, it's going to be zero, 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 since they're not appearing here, there is no x naught, y naught, and z naught, they're going to be zero, zero, zero. And if you try to draw the shape, it's gonna look something like this. So here's our x, y, z plane. So I'm just gonna erase that so I have more space to make the sketch. So here's our z axis, here's our x axis, and here's our y axis. Let's go ahead and label them. And now we're going to plot the center first. So 
here's the center, 0, 0, 0. And let's draw the negative axis as well. So here's your negative z-axis, negative x-axis, and negative y-axis, roughly sketching. And now, in the x direction, we're going to travel only one unit, since you can write this as 1 squared. So the radius along the x-axis is going to be 1. Let's suppose this is 1. Now, along the y-axis, we're going to travel this much, 3 units. So let's suppose this is 3, and then this is 3 as well. You can label them if you wish to, and I think it's always good to label them because that's your intercepts. And then uh, along the z-axis, we're also going to travel 3 units. So let's suppose this is 3. So 3 units from the center. And now you try to create an ellipse. So let's do our best to do that. So the first ellipse will be in the xy plane. So I'm going to try to connect the intercepts. So here's the intercepts in the xy axis. Something like that. And then now let's do the yz plane. So connect the intercepts in the yz plane. So um, so it will look something like this. So only connecting the points in the yz plane. And then now xz plane. So that will be the last ellipse. So um, so this points with this point. You can put that at point if you like to get a better perspective on this, something like that. All right, one more example. So here we are given um, expanded form of that uh, ellipsoid uh, equation, but we're going to put it in standard form so that we can identify it is an ellipsoid. So we're gonna have to complete the square. So hopefully you remember how to do that. So we're gonna rearrange the terms. I have x squared and I'm gonna replace two x next to it. Leave a space since we're going to be completing the square. Then we have y square plus 4y. And then um, leave a space plus 4z squared. There is no linear factor for z terms, so I guess that will be 0 equals to negative 1. So I just move this to the other side because that's how we get our constant term. So first thing you want to do is take half of this number and square it so you... Uh, take half of negative 2, you get negative 1, you square it, you get positive 1. And you also have to add it to the other side. For this y variable, we do the same thing. Take half of the linear term, that's this one. That will be 2, you square it, you get 4. And we'll also add 4 to the other side. And now we're ready to factor them. So the x terms will factor into x minus 1 all squared. And the y terms will be factored into y plus 2 all squared, and the z term is just 4z squared. There's nothing to change. We combine the rest, so you'll have equals to 4. Now we want to put it in standard form, so we want to make sure this is 1. So divide all sides by 4. So you'll have x minus 1 squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared over 4 plus z squared over 1 equals to 1. So there you have your standard form. And now we, know we, now we can identify this as an ellipsoid because every term is positive. They're all squared and equals to a constant. So that's how I like to identify it. Now let's sketch this so we have an idea how this looks like. So we know the center of this ellipsoid is going to be 1, negative 2, and 0. So 1 because of this, negative 2 because of the 0, because there is no z naught in the z component. And so along the x direction, we're going to travel. So I'm going to change the 4 to a 2 squared, because that's 4. And then this one right here as well, change to a 2. So you know how far to travel along the x, y, and z. So let's make a rough sketch. Here's your z axis. Here is the x axis. And here is the y-axis. So our x, y, z right here. Let's plot the center first, and then we start sketching. Here is the negative y-axis. Here is the negative z-axis. Here is the negative x-axis. So the center is at 1 in the x-direction. Let's suppose this is 1. 
negative two in the y direction, so we have to go this way, and zero in the z direction, so suppose right there. Okay, so now let's um, let's travel along the x-axis, two units to the um, positive x-axis, so that would be uh, somewhere right here, and then two units to the left, so um, suppose it's right here. And then along the y-axis, we travel two units as well. So that's one point here, another point here. So that'll be negative four. And then uh, along the z-axis, we only travel one unit. So uh, I can draw a point maybe here and here. So that was along the z-axis. And now let's connect them, try to make a um, ellipsoid. So along the um, x-y plane, so like this. So this is the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. Um, something like that. So not really the intercept, those points. And then um, along the uh, y-z, so that would look something like this. So those are the points on the y and z-axis. So there you go, that's along yz. And then now xz will give us something like this. We connect the points in the xz plane. So that would look something like this. So there you have it. That's the ellipsoid uh, in 3D of this equation.